past seven. And uh, let's catch up with Jeff Dudas from UnderwaterTimes.com. Joining us in Miami today. Good day, Jeff. Hey, how you doing, Wamo? Very good. And uh, shortly we'll talk about a um, another world record broken when it comes to free diving. But first up, uh, something about the green humphead parrotfish. Never heard of this before. It's it's a strange looking fish. It almost has a head kind of like a sperm whale, which is you know this big sort of bulbous head, and it's kind of you know it's just got this big hump on its head. Um, and and these fishery biologists were out in Wake Island, which is sort of in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of, of the Pacific, and they were diving, and they kept on hearing these loud jarring noises, like these crashes, and they had no idea what it was, and they came upon these uh, these uh, green humphead parrotfish headbutting. Uh, and these are huge fish. These fish are probably about a meter and a half long. They can grow up to 70 uh, kilograms. So, that, you know, there's like these big, massive fish, and they were just ramming each other. And it was uh, totally uh, unexpected because this had never been observed before, you know, mm. between fish, or, and especially these fish. Uh, you know, you sort of look at them, and you might suspect, okay, they got this big hump on their head. <laughs> I wonder if it does anything. But uh, sure enough, they're just sort of banging away at each other. Um, kind of like, uh, I guess like sheep or ram or yeah. something like that, just just going at each other. Um, uh, they they say it's some sort of uh, you know probably a, a mating uh, a ritual where you know males are, are are you know going going at you know just banging each other and they sort of circle around and try to bite the the tail of of the fish after they bang bang into each other. Uh, but uh, it just sort of blew them, you know blew away these scientists because you know for. I guess hundreds of years, uh, nobody even knew this was happening. <laughs> the, this aggressive behavior was happening under the sea. Uh, okay, talking about talking about uh, more stuff under the sea, another free diving record has been broken. Uh, yeah, and this is uh, in- interesting. And again, you, you hear about this, and it just sort of it boggles the mind. A German free diver, they had this contest. Uh, a couple of uh, free divers uh, were, were uh, in, put in these tanks. Uh, I think this went on in China and uh, basically, you know, put in a big tank and hold your breath. And this uh, German guy, uh, freediver Tom uh, Cestis, uh held his breath for 22 minutes and 22 seconds. Wow. <laughs> That's extraordinary. It's, it's, it's hard, hard to even imagine. Uh, so, you know, I was just re- reading on further. There is a, you know, there's a couple little tricks here. Um, you know, there's all these, you know, breath holding and, and, and free diving. There's like, you know, a thousand different categories. Mm. So what this guy was doing, uh, static apnea, which is basically you just sort of sit still and just under the water. Um, and he uses oxygen. So you like, you like, you know, hyperventilates on oxygen and gets all, you know, uh, super saturated and just sort of goes down, uh, and just lays there. Um, and he says he doesn't eat for five hours before which evidently slows down his metabolism. But uh, wow. if you do that, you know, with the oxygen, you know, 22 minutes underwater. You could have wondered, so, you know, at, I don't know, the 18th, 20th, 21st minute, how you feel. I, it's, it's, it's just, you know, I don't know. Uh, you, you know, these guys, uh, they said, you know, they studied him, and they said he has a 20% uh, larger lung capacity mm. than a normal person. So, you know, maybe something to do with that, but... Uh, yeah, you just got to you got to figure you know the fight off that urge to 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 breathe in, and such. Uh, yeah. I don't Pretty know about trouble. you, but I don't know sixty seconds. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, yeah, yeah, a minute underwater, and that, that's about it for me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, finally, a fisherman has lost his arm. Yeah, this is the story about the one that got away. Um, this is a uh, you know they they're having this is off the coast of Florida. They're having a fishing tournament uh, for wounded warriors, and this one guy was out fishing. And he had lost his whole arm, uh, and so he had this special, you know, prosthetic arm and a prosthetic hand, and it was hooked into the fishing rod. And he was, at, they were out fishing for tarpon, which are this, you know, big game fish, uh, mm-hmm. you know, super strong fighting fish. And uh, so sure enough, he hooked it, hooked a tarpon, and it started running, and it basically ripped ripped his, uh, his his rod out of his hand, and, and literally ripped off his arm, and uh, basically into the Gulf of Mexico went to his whole arm. Uh, fishing rod and uh, you know <laughs> with the fish uh, sort of in tow with all this stuff in tow um, but uh, as it turned out uh, there, there is a there is a happy ending uh, strange strange as it, it may seem uh, someone else caught the same fish 
reeled it in, you know, reeled it in, brought it up, yeah. and the fish still had the line, the other line in his mouth. Oh. The other rod was still attached, and the guy's arm was still attached to the <laughs> rod. So, at the end of the day, he got his arm back. Well, it shows how tenacious fish are, though, eh? That they, they could be hauling around all this gear from another fisherman and still go after another piece of bait. Yeah, tarpon are, are incredible fish. People come from all, you know, all over the world to, to Florida to, to fish them. And uh, they're you know, super strong, and uh, they, they're, they're also pretty big. So, uh, yeah, to haul around all that stuff and to get caught a second time, it's yeah. just, I don't, I'm not sure how, but, uh, you know, strange things go on underneath the, the ocean. And that is something that we've found out um, very much so over the past few years, Jeff, as you've been on the show, all that stuff that's been happening at underwatertimes.com. Really appreciate your contributions to the show over the years, Jeff. Hey, thanks for having me. I love uh, love doing this and uh, love love the the underwater. So uh, you know, if uh, you know nothing else, Underwater Times is always there on the internet. Exactly, and um, hope to meet you one day as well. Sure, on the sure. travels. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. See you, mate. Okay, thanks, Jeff Dudas. There, joining us in uh, Miami. Uh, Twenty-two minutes past seven now here on the uh, radio.